What's up everyone? Welcome to your 40 minute full body strength and conditioning workout. Grab some dumbbells and let's get started. Welcome to your full body workout. I'm so excited for this workout today and thank you for showing up for yourself. This is gonna be a great workout for strength and conditioning. We've got three exercises today in a circuit style. So it's a big week for a circuit style format, meaning we've got 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, three exercises in a row, three rounds of that circuit, okay? I do have my jump rope out here. If you wanna grab that, that is an option for cardio in circuit number one. And then as far as dumbbells, we've got things like some heavier squat cleans, tricep overhead extensions, and then we've got some lighter kind of medium weight ranges as well. So grab your water, grab your sweat towel, rope if you have it, heavier to medium weights today, and let's go ahead and get started, all right? Heels to glutes, let's go. Three, two, one, let's pull as you pull reach your open chest forward come up on your toes a little bit i want all the energy today okay whatever you showed up with today i need that as we keep going remind yourself you're feeling better as we keep moving you didn't quit all right you showed up and you decided i'm gonna give what i have as we get closer to the end of the workout you're more and more proud of yourself for sticking it out and crushing it two one hands on your hips back and squeeze. Good. Start your breathing here. Two, and one, hands down in the front. Let's kick the left leg back. Both legs are straight. You're gonna dip and extend. Good job. Today's workout is going to get your heart rate up. We've built up to this week number three in 2023 in the first part of our process program. I'll show you all three exercises before we start. Good. Switch sides. And then we'll go through them for three rounds. Upper body, lower body, core, and cardio today. I want to kind of let you get into your zone today, kind of get into your head of uh, showing up, putting in the work, breathing deep, and pushing hard. Last one, come up in the middle, open your feet to the front, left and right. If you're just joining me, you're just starting your journey, welcome, I'm so glad you're here. It's never too late to get a good start on feeling better, stronger, and reaching some goals that you've had for way too long, right? All right, slowly make your way up to the top. Arms cross over your chest. That's it, three, two, one. Good, roll your ankles and your wrists. And we'll get started in just about 35 seconds with our first circuit, okay? Let's jog in place right here. Get your arms moving. I wanna show you your first three exercises, okay? Stay jogging. First move, front rack squat clean. So you're coming beside your body, come down, sit, extend, sit, okay? So clean up and sit. Then we have jump rope, and then we've got a burpee with a push up. all right? So let's get started in eight seconds. Front rack squat cleans. I'm starting with my 15s for round one. Three, two, one, sit it down, up, sit, up. Good. Lots of power out of your legs. When you come out of that clean, your dumbbell should be moving. You just get your elbows under and catch. 15. One, good, 15 seconds rest. We've got jump rope. If you don't want to jump rope, your choice of high knees or mountain climbers, okay? Whew. All right, big deep breath. Two, one, let's go. Breathe. 
10. Rest. Good job. Burpee with a push up. That's exercise three. You're going to step it back, push up on your knees or toes, come up, squat. Okay, and then hands down, right back. Three, two, one, let's go. Tight core on the push up. Six seconds. Rest, beautiful. Back to the top of that circuit. If you can go a little heavier on your squat cleans, let's do it. Big deep breath. Three, two, one, come on. Good, power up in the clean, full extension. Four. Rest, good job. Back to the jump rope. Let's go, keep rocking. Three, two, and come on. Little bend in your knees. Breathe. Good job. Come on. Five. Go, go, go. Rest, burpees with the push up. Keep your core tight, keep your legs tight when you kick it back, okay? Whew. Let's go, four, hold that squat when you pop up. Let's go. Drop your hips, lift your chest. Great work, come on. 10 seconds. Two, one, rest. One last round of all three. If you can go heavier on those dumbbells, let's do it. Remember, hip power. So as you come up, don't just stand. Come up, boom. Use your hips. Let's go. Twelve, eleven. Rest, beautiful. Skipping rope or jog. High knees, mountain climbers. Let's just get the heart rate up. For a quick 30, we go in three, two, one, come on. Good work. Five seconds, come on. Rest. All right. Good push ups, a good squat hold, core is tight. Okay, four, burpee push-ups. Two, one, come on.
15. Come on, work for it. Work to see progress. Seven. Two, one, rest. Beautiful job, you've got 45 seconds to breathe and rest. We'll start at 29.45, grab water. Whew. I need to give you good rest in between these circuits. It's a long work period of working at high intensities, so recover here, okay? Breathe. All right, 20 seconds. Push press. Exercise one, your dumbbells are here. Dip, punch. Dip, punch. Exercise two, suitcase. Open, close. Exercise three, bicycles. We start off with push press in four. Two, one, let's go. Don't dip your back, so make sure you're not open here. Keep a little bend in your knee. Breathe. Ten. One more. Rest. If you want to add a suitcase to your or a dumbbell to your suitcases, go ahead and grab it. All right, let's go. Four, two, one, open, crunch up. Fifteen. Rest. Good job. An option for your bicycles to step it up a little bit is to hold a dumbbell over your chest. A little crunch up and you go in here. Okay. Two. One, let's go. So knee to opposite elbow, just a little twist of the dumbbell. We'll get your opposite elbow over there. Fifteen. Rest, 15 seconds, let's go. Round two with that push press. As you can tell, you have a little bit of leg momentum. So if you can go a bit heavier than a normal shoulder press, let's go, you should be able to. Three, two, one, come on. Keep your core in control. Nine. One more. Two, one. All right. Suitcases, with or without that extra dumbbell. The suitcase is just about starting here on your low back and opening limbs up away from it controlling your core through that open and close. Let's go. Fifteen. One more, two, one, good. Bicycles, add the weight if you're ready for it. If you're holding the weight, just a little twist right here and crunch your shoulder blades up, stay here. Three, two, one, let's go.
12. Breathe, breathe. Two, one, rest. Okay, let's go. Push it up on that push press. Can you go to the next set of dumbbells? Trust your legs a little more. Okay, get a good powerful pop out of the bottom. And let's rock this. Three, two, one. Come on, dip, punch. Good. Good. Lock it out up top. Ten. Rest. Great job. Whew. Nice work there. Suitcases, weighted or not, keep the control in the core. Breathe, I'm, do I'm doing the same. Breathe, Sydney. Let's go. Fifteen. Three, two, one, good, and bicycles. 15 seconds rest. Relax your shoulders to the ground right now. And let's finish out circuit number two. You're doing fantastic. I'm here for you, rep for rep. Crunch it up, two, one, go. Nice, 15. Rest, beautiful job. 45 seconds to breathe. And we're on to circuit number three. Great work today. All right, water. Let me show you what you've got next. We'll start at 22, 30. Okay, reverse lunge and curl. Okay, we're alternating legs. Down, up, curl. Down, up, curl. I want you to stay low in these lunges, so don't spend too much time here. You're down, curl, down, curl, down. Okay? Whew. Then we'll go overhead tricep extensions, and then a dumbbell sit up. Five seconds. I'm gonna curl my 15s to get started. Two, one, let's do it. Good, hammer curl so we get back into that lunge quickly. And it's not about quick, bad form. It's about time under tension. Spending less time up here, relax, waiting. More time, bent leg, bent elbow. Two. One, good job. Dumbbells out of the way, overhead extension. Taking it right up here. Bend and push, okay? Two, one, let's go. I'm just adding a little side step just to keep my legs moving. Sometimes I feel like I always tend to like tap my toes on hard upper body work. Anyone else? So this just kind of helps me not stop keeping the tension. 10. Two, one, good job. Dumbbell sit up, holding the dumbbell on your chest. All right, don't use it to swing up. If you're not ready for it on your chest, just body weight. Okay, sit it right in your thumbs right here. Press it against your chest. Let's go. Fifteen. Two. 
Last one. Uh, rest. Beautiful. We're back to it. Reverse lunge and curl. Stay in that bent leg position, okay? Hammer curls will help you switch a little quicker as well. Three, two, one. Good squeeze. There you go. Ten. Rest. Good job. Overhead extension. Can you go a bit heavier? This is just a pure strength move. So try it out if you think you're ready. Two, let's go. You got 10. Two, one, good. That should have been a little burner. Sit up with the dumbbell touching. Always hold my hands like this. Set the dumbbell right here. Heavier if you can this round. Two, one, let's go. Good, tap low back, exhale, lift. Ten. Two. Rest. Okay, one last round through those three. And we're moving on. How are your biceps feeling? Go heavier if you can here. Four. All right, let's get it. Two, one, down, curl. Working hard, keep moving. I told you on this one today, I'm gonna let you kind of think, get into your head a little bit, talk yourself through. Two, one. Straighten your arms, come on. Four. Rest. Oh. Sit up with a dumbbell if you're ready. Last round of these. We breathe and we move on to our next circuit. Two, one, come on. Can you tap and go right back up? Eight, seven. Two. Oh, breathe. Good work. 45 seconds to rest. You're doing fantastic. Grab water while I show you what's next. Romanian deadlift and underhand row. One arm at a time. So we've got four rounds of this one. Okay, opposite hand is gonna row from your working leg. So left leg is out front, 
All right, I'm gonna row with my right hand. So I'm gonna go here, down, row, stand. Okay, 45 seconds of work on this one, four rounds. So we can really slow it down and get this compound move here, okay? Five seconds and let's go. Ready? Three, two, one, let's get it. Good, nice flat back. You got the space right inside your leg here for your dumbbell to hang as you pull and stand. That's it, that's it, come on. Breathe through this one, last 15. Good, four, three, two, one. Jack knives, lay it down on your back. One arm comes up to the opposite leg. Same side, let's go, four, Three, two, one. And I would prefer that you hold the dumbbell on the same arm that you held the weight for your lower body so we can just make sure we're doing the same arm each round. Good, 15. Three, rest. Come on up, move the dumbbells out of the way. You've got side step lunge, skater lunge. Okay, you're here, here. If you need low impact, step, sit. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. 45 here, so I'm keeping it low, working my arms. Remember to sit down, down, not just straight leg bend, okay? Sit. 15. One more. Two, one. Let's go. Round two. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Same weight. All right, so last round, I use this arm, switch it over. Two, one, come on. Good, and if you're hitting your ribs here, take your elbow out just a bit more, or pull here to neutral. Okay? Five, two, one. Good job, Jack Knives. Same arm as holding the dumbbell here. We're going to the opposite knee. Two, one. When you come back down, make sure your dumbbell doesn't swing overhead. Right back over your shoulder. You're doing great, 14, 13. Two. 
two, one. Good, come on up. Skaters. Now let's add a little spice, twist, whatever you wanna call it, to this, okay? Go over, up, over, up. If you're tapping down on the floor, right here, come up. Right here, come up. Just side to side and up. Let's go, over and over. If you need that stabilization leg, go over and up. Over, up. All right, just make it your own. You're doing great. We're just getting our heart rate up here. Frontal plane, sagittal plane. 15. Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, back to the first arm and leg. Deadlift, underhand row. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come on. Fifteen. Two, one, good job. That same arm grabs a dumbbell for jackknives. Come on, I know this closer is tough. I know you're strong though. I told you I was gonna make you talk yourself through it. I need some positive self-talk right now. Yes, I can. Let's go. My mission for you throughout effort was to make sure you're putting in the effort and then we start to think differently, okay? Once we've got the showing up checked off, then it becomes who we are and we start to think about what we do differently. So how can you do that for yourself here Instead of thinking this is so hard, think I can do this though. Yeah, it's hard. You didn't get this far in the workout coasting. You're working hard. That's how we get stronger. Progress comes through the toughest times. Two, one, yes. Good job. All right. Whew. Adding a little spice here. We're gonna go to the side and back. Side, back. Okay, so just make it lateral. Back off your mat, back on. Let's go. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect. Side, back, up. Side, back, up. Just keep moving. That's it. See how you just adapted to everything that I threw at you? This is when you start to think differently. You adapt, you get stronger mentally by knowing that you can. Two, one, one last round. All right, you start to think differently, you start to do differently. Come on, believe in yourself. Three, Two, one, let's go. Fifteen. One more. Two. 
One, yes. Jack knives. Same arm holds the dumbbell. Five, two, one. Good, come on. Yes, you can. Fifteen. Two, one, good. Skater lunge, chop it up. Whew. All right, we go over, forward, over, forward. Okay, we went backwards last time, same concept. To the side, switch directions there. Let's go. 45, right here. I'm gonna finish out this last circuit, and then together, two minutes of work, strength and conditioning. Come on. Yes, you can. Yes, we will. Fifteen, don't stop, don't stop. Two more. Two, one, fifteen seconds rest. We're breaking down the burpee, okay? Push ups. Squats, hops, okay? Whew. Let's go down to the floor. Five push-ups, ready? Two, one. Finish with five, four, three, two, one. Step up, squats. Just keep going right here. Keep going. 15 seconds here. Good. Seven seconds. You're coming up on your toes. Right here, traveling. Three, two, one, let's go. And we've got three rounds of that. 15 seconds push-ups, 15 seconds squat jumps, 15 seconds cardio. Back to your push-ups in three, two, one, go. 15 seconds right here. Can you get five? Can you get three? Four, squat jumps, two, one, let's go. Vertical hops, three, two, come on. Keeping your core neutral, make sure you're not here. Knees bent, ribs over the hips. Up, up, 10. Ready for your push-ups? Last round of all three. Five, four, push-ups, three, two, let's go. Push through, yes you can. 15, two, one, come on. Let's go, 15 right here. Five, three, two, vertical hops. Let's go, 15 seconds right here, and you're done. Five, go up four, higher, three, two, one. You've made it to your cool down. Amazing work. Don't leave yet. Come on down, hands and knees. Walk your hips forward. 
Drop it down, open your chest. You did it. Whew. Last circuit there. I'm so proud of you. Exhale, lift your hips and sit them back. Pinky edge on the ground. Look up towards your thumbs. Let yourself breathe here. Give me a couple minutes for cool down and I'll have you out of here. Slowly come up back into that tabletop position. Toes down, lift your hips, drive your heels to the floor. Bend one leg at a time, stretching your calves, your Achilles. Great work. What you're doing has shifted. You're working harder. You're showing up more consistently. Or you're finally starting something that you're not gonna quit. Walk back to your toes, hang out here. Exhale. What you're doing has officially shifted and you are consistently putting in the work. The more you tell yourself this, the more it becomes who you are. Bend your knees, roll it up nice and slow. Exhale, pull your heel to your glute. Other arm up. You're consistently putting in the effort now. You've checked that box off, right? We're into week number three of effort. And this week, I want you to think differently about what you're doing. Once consistency is established, switch over. The intensity is ramping up, okay? Your dedication helps you show up on the good days and the bad days. We've got that, I believe in you on that. Now, the way that you go about your day changes. You're showing up consistently, great work. Don't lose that. If anything, come back to consistency. Don't think you have to restart or do anything magic. Okay, arms up overhead, pull over. Consistency is always your first priority. Second, intensity. Okay, I showed you a little bit more about what you're capable of today. In that last circuit, had some different time intervals. I had some things where I just threw it at you and said, keep moving, do it with me, just go. Okay, in that way, I get you to believe in yourself. Switch it over, other arm. Okay, so mindset check. If you're someone who is just getting mad, just frustrated, we're not done yet, oh my gosh, what is she doing? Keep moving with me, okay? If at all costs, you have to get frustrated but you keep moving, that's fine. I just have to keep showing you how strong you are as you get through things that you didn't know you were capable of getting through. All right, drop the hands, pull back. Okay, there's a lot of mindset work in this month and I'm challenging you to think about what you do and how you do it differently and what you bring to the table when you do all these things. Switch it over. So if you're bringing resentment, negativity, stress, anxiety, you're bringing frustration in, I agree, workouts are a mental release, an emotional release, always. But once you get here, let it out, let it go. Don't bring it into how you're working. So then you get tensed up and you squat with your shoulders rounded, things start to compensate and you start to get a higher risk for injury. Let it go, okay? You're here, you showed up, work as hard as you can here. Don't doubt what you're doing, just keep going. Never give up on yourself, okay? And if you're bringing that energy into your workouts, I know you can bring that energy, yes, you guessed it, into your life. <laughs> I always say that, but it is absolutely a mindset shift that has to happen for you to be successful in all areas. And this personal trainer cares about you personally, professionally, your health and wellness, also your career, also your family, because who you are as a whole well person contributes to how great your workouts are, contributes to how great your nutrition is, contributes to how great you show up in all areas. So it's not just me here, it's me here fueling you to go out there and do more for yourself. Think differently this week. Think better, think positive, think bigger, and we're gonna crush week three. I'll see you back here for our next workout. Give the video a thumbs up if you're done. I want you to comment below that you crushed it and share this workout with all your friends. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.